What up, what up? I'll be bouncing in and out there. Emperor, what's going on with you? Bobby, what up? I done watching TV in there and got bored. So I planned on making some meatloaf actually tomorrow night. Well, it looks like it's going to get made tonight. I just enjoy and invite y'all to join me for a while. If folks don't hang out, I understand. Oh, now how big a thing did I get? Five pounds. I ain't making no five pound meatloaf. I don't feed that many no more. But I will make about a Three pound one. Yeah. I'm gonna cut right about there. Oops, that's hard on my knife. And right about there. Yeah. See, and this is why I tell you all that I'm buying the larger quantities then I break it down this is one of them so now we'll have a couple of these bad boys that I can throw in the freezer Actually, I'll put it in the icebox. Grandma will write on it tomorrow. And then she'll probably, she might even do a vacuum seal on it. I'm probably wasting a baggie, putting it in a baggie for that even going to fit in there? Possibly. Which is another little thing that we've learned when we uh, go putting these in baggies like this is we go ahead and break them on down and get them into the position we want them in the freezer so they stack better. And usually grandma gets to do that too. Yeah, there's seven of you on here, so I guess I ain't talking to myself. Although if y'all wasn't here, I'd still be having a conversation to myself. Seven people and three likes. Y'all can't decide if you like meatloaf. I got you. Oh. I got home around noon today, plenty early, got my stuff knocked out early, started over in Beaumont, kicked that one off, they came in real early, surprised me, they started showing up for like 7 o'clock, then uh, I was rolling out there before 8. 
got over to Houston and kicked them two off. By 10 o'clock, I was empty. I had a uh, load I'm supposed to pick up Monday. Like I said, I'll be bouncing in and out of the thing trying to get this going. But anyway, I got a load I'm supposed to pick up Monday morning. And uh, I know the people real well. Actually, I got our company that contract with them. So, uh, and it was on my way home. So I swung by and said, hey, y'all want to load me today? We talked about it a minute. And they were like, yeah, since it's you, we will. I'm like, cool. Thank you, thank you. All right. I don't want to use this again, so we'll get it over here. Got me some ham over there thawing out in the sink. I'm going to do me some great northern and ham beans tomorrow. All right. There we're grandma put down. Oh, let me take a minute and see who all is on here with me. Let's see, Amper and Bobby. Ah, oh, well, cool. Enjoy the drive. I'm just going to be rambling on and cooking. Ralph, howdy, howdy. Research. I'll mess around in the kitchen. I was bored. Oh. Grant, what's up? You at home tonight? So am I. Uh-huh. Extra is always good. Cliff, howdy. Well, and that's what I told Grandma when we was talking about how much hamburger I got. And she's like, how much you fixing? I said, oh, I can eat some meatloaf sandwiches. I tear up some meat. Now, I don't do mine with the breadcrumbs and all that stuff. I don't do it. That just ain't my cup of tea. When I was growing up, we was poor folks. And Mama, she added so much extras to it. That it made you wonder if it really was meatloaf or not. So. So as an adult. I don't do that. And actually, uh, if I wasn't on the diet, I would have had grandma cook me up a little bit of white rice. I do like to put white rice in my meatloaf. Which brown rice would have worked. Alright, my hands are going to be dirty. I might want to turn the oven on. Right there and start. Okay, what am I going to use for a baking dish? Grandma, where you got them hit at? I want one of the, ah, uh, yeah, there's where it is. All right, there we go. Now, let's see.
Yeah, I watched a little bit of my Street Outlaws in there earlier. Uh, watched a little bit of my Swamp People. Got caught up on them. Okay, that fan is on. Another one. Let's see. I wish I hadn't used that. She must have got mad and threw the other one away. Nope, there it is. I don't want to use that either. Don't mind me while I mumble to myself. So yeah, I got home in time to cook Grandma out to watch. That ain't gonna do a whole hell of a lot of good, is it? And uh, then we went and did our shopping. Came home, didn't take too long, and she laid down. She ain't doing good this week. So, she got up for a little bit. We was going to do catfish again tonight. And uh, she said she just really wanted to lay down. Go lay back down. I said, well, you go and I'm going to make me both then. So. So that's what I'm doing. I hope I have a little bit of this bacon left for in the morning. I made her mad at me. I've got cinnamon raisin bread there. I want to have me some oatmeal in the morning with some cinnamon raisin toast. So, it is what it is, right? Good stuff. Well, I don't know. We might not have any bacon left in the morning. Well, I'll have a couple pieces, it looks like. But it's going to take printing there all of this. And I got the thick cut bacon too. So it don't stretch and all that like you see me doing with my jalapenos and whatnot. Well. Yeah, I'm going to have some left over for breakfast. Cool. So I'll tell you what's for breakfast tomorrow. Cinnamon toast. Some oatmeal and some bacon. I had planned on uh, working my boy Lakota tomorrow, but he called me. They got some projects going on at his house where his dad needs his help. So he called asking me if I really needed his help or not or if he could beg off for the day uh, okay force me to be lazy all right finish up my bacon bits here Oh, good 
goodness, ain't this one thick cut? It sure ain't. Well, dead gummit. Well, guess what then? I'm going to save these four for in the morning. That's aggravating. I might wind up saving some of these others. And that was my fault. I'm the one that grabbed the base bacon. I grabbed two right in a row there off the same shelf, same place. But I didn't read the package. Well, y'all know how that goes. But I definitely want to save my thick cuts for breakfast. All right, what we got up here? One, two, three, four, and five. So, yeah, three, four, that's how I'm going to wind up doing that. I know, it's probably boring watching me do this, right? All I'm doing at the moment is lying on my bacon pan here. My, I call it a bread pan. I've been informed more than once that that's really not the proper name for it. But I'm laying it, lining it in bacon. You'll see I ain't making a typical meatloaf. All right. Now, then, let me go ahead and get my meat filled together. the oven ready. Come on, ball, quit running away from it. Now I got all the seasoning going into it. It was not cooperating well. And this had enough fat in it that I don't have to worry about adding an egg or anything. To all right, now I'm gonna make that into an even sized thing. Then I'm gonna take about a third of it, more or less. Maybe a little bit more, close to a half. All right, can y'all see over here? Yeah. All right, what I'm going to do is lay this hamburger out in the bottom, flatten it out a little bit, trying not to move my bacon too much, 
And I want bacon on the bottom of it when I'm all said and done. Come on, there we go. Crease that bottom a little bit. Oh, I forgot. Let me wash my hands. Damn it. Water gets hot. That's the bad thing about grease is it takes hot water to chill it out. All right. How many of y'all still with me? Oh, 15 of you were growing. Let me take a second and see what anybody having to say. Let's see there. Cliff saying howdy. Y'all can chat back and forth amongst yourselves. See you, Hill. Howdy. Meatloaf. Josh, howdy. What did that say? Nate? That was my boy's name was Nate. Grant, still there? Oh, you're, you're at work. Okay, Grant. Now, well, <laughs> I called the dispatcher, general manager. She's dispatching me now since my dispatcher quit. And uh, I said, if I'm up there Monday morning, you're going to have a load to keep me running? She like, well... Yeah, Joe, I guess so. Did you already pick up that load? I said, yeah. Well, I didn't think we could pick it up until Monday. I said, I know people in low places. So I got her loaded already. So she like, yeah, come on up. I'll have a load for you. JJ, what up? Speaking of which, let me take this bacon that I need to put in the ice box for in the morning. Get it off that stove because I got the stove preheating. Actually, it already preheated. You heard it beep at me. And I already used my favorite knife to cut that meat. Here in a minute, I'll be wishing I had it for my cheese. This is pepper jack cheese, in case you're wondering. I like me some pepper jack cheese. So does Grandma. She's in there coughing like crazy. The old woman ain't been doing good this week. She overdid a little bit last week. All right, this pepper jack, I'm just going to cut it in half here, lengthways. Then I end up with something like that. That I'm going to put in there. Now you see why I made that 
empty down there. And without touching that to the meat, I need to cut him in about half. Yep, that works out fine. Then that leaves me a little bit I cut up to munch on. Like me some pepper jack. Alright, while ago you seen I had divided this up. Now I'm gonna take what's left and divide it again approximately half. This ain't no exact. But it makes it easier on me handling it. And I'll put it on top. I'm going to form it all together. Make it all marry up. Try to seal it up a little bit. Yeah, sometimes you gotta work with it a little bit to get what you want. So I'm good with that. And then we take our bacon. And we go ahead and commence the putting it back over it. And bring it from the other side right back. And I let mine crisscross a little bit. Just kind of tie it in once in a while. Bandit, what are you doing, buddy? Did Mama get up? Or did you desert Mama? Huh? Did you desert Mama? Please, I'm going to redo this end a little bit. See if I can. You need to go outside? Well, you're going to wait a minute. My hands are a mess. If Mama didn't get up to let you out, you're just going to have to wait a minute. Hold on, buddy. Let me go let the bandito out and I'll be back. Where'd you go, little buddy? Come on. found something to bark at. You want to see this where I put it in the oven, Mama? And there you go, folks. That's a bacon wrap meatloaf. I did not put the uh, tomatoes in it. I did put the uh, pepper jack in it. We have some bacon left for in the morning. And I didn't get two packages of thick. One was sick and one was that thin shit. But I saved us the thick for breakfast. And that wound up double layering on the, whatchamacallit, on the meatloaf. So, let's see, what can I stick that bacon in? Oh, I need to set a timer uh, about 45 minutes. I'm going to go for an hour. Come on. There's an hour. 
One bite of pepper jack? I got a little piece left. Yeah. I am bit of a taping, just so you know. There's a couple pieces. Thank you. Y'all say hi to Grandma. <laughs> Grandma. Hi, folks. There, she hollered at y'all. Getting nothing, buddy. Grandma has determined that you're really not a people. She might call you baby, but you're not a people, baby. I think Mama went back to bed. You better chase her. Now, Hunter, did you notice that I've been cleaning up behind myself, young man? Real men cook, and real men clean up behind themselves. Now, I might not do dishes, but that's because Grandma puts them in the dishwasher. But I do clean up behind myself for the most part. Just a lesson to you. Don't leave a mess for your mama. If you big enough to cook, if you big enough to pick up. See, I, I teach other kids, Grandma. I don't teach just ours. And we got two packages of hamburger in there. I figured you'd want to mark. And then I just put them in a sandwich bag. I did. I figured you'd vacuum seal them or something. All right. Now, I probably should dry off that ham and put it in the ice box till tomorrow. Need to claim some great northern. You think we'll do one pound or two pounds? Uh huh? Yeah, we ain't had great northern in a while. And we got a lot of ham there, so we took two. See, now, when I was growing up, Mama made a big pot of Great Northern with whatever meat. And it'd go in the icebox after we had ate, and it'd gel up, you know, it gelled up. Then uh, for lunch, the next day, we'd take out a scoop, big old spoonful, mash it with your fork, add mustard to it, put it on bread. A big sandwich. A bean sandwich. It was just something we was raised doing, so we didn't think nothing about it. Nowadays, I realize they taught us and had us doing that stuff because it was so damn poor. Yeah, it was but now I, filling. Right, it was something to eat. Nowadays, it's like, oh, well, actually, it was pretty damn good. Pretty good, yeah. Yeah. All right, folks, I'll take you into the living room with me. Oh, that made Grandma stop. She gave me the eyeball. I might be in trouble. Oh. Alright. And I took my early evening pills. Oh, you got a call right after you 
laid down, then it came up that it was more than likely a spam call. I jumped up to make sure it wasn't something important, and it wasn't. AT&T alerts spam rest. Yeah, that's what I read. All right. Georgia number. Yeah. That must be what you're watching in there. I hear it echoing out the bedroom from TV. I can still see it coming from that. I can watch the one time. Saturday the 23rd. What about it? I want to watch a show that's going to be on. Do They've you got a children's murder. Okay. Oh, where they killed them. 23. Hometown murder. Or something. Boys and girls, I think that's the murder. That, no, that ain't that one I was thinking of. Chuckanigger River got its name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Grandma. <laughs> between 1979 and 81. Yeah. It was something like 23 children killed. Let's see. Cliff shut down early. Ice and fog here in Kansas is crazy. Uh, let's see. He said, I use barbecue chips in my meatloaf. That's cool. Let's see. JJ, you don't read very good. They told you it was meatloaf. <coughs> and it's Bobby's weekend off. Yeah, Brandon, I'm cooking it with the cheese in the middle. Yeah, how'd you cook them pork chops tonight? Did you see where I did that butterfly pork chop? Uh, what did we put in that one? We did the stuffed chicken and we did a stuffing. Boudin, I think. I think we did boudin in the pork chop. Oh. Let's see if I can slide this any closer to me here. Mm. Brandon said, I'm never boring. I told him in there that some might find me boring. I was preoccupied doing stuff and half-assed talking to them. Oh. And Brandon saying, get better, Grandma. Thank you. Yeah, that's probably the one I seen, JJ. I posted it somewhere. But that cheese that they use, that's some high dollar cheese and I wasn't gonna sit there and unwrap all that nonsense. Oh, so I just you seen what I did. And I'd asked grandma beforehand if she wanted to use pepper jack, she like, I don't care. So We'll see how it turns out. Cricket, what's up? Kelly, what's up, my brother? Rose is waving at you, Kelly.
Brandon said he ate a bunch of bean sandwiches too. So see, we wasn't the only poor <laughs> folks doing that. We had beans and rice every meal, but we didn't eat bean sandwiches. <laughs> what up, Ryan? You gonna get the table ready, are you? They can see me. They can't see your dirty house. She has a thing. She thinks her house is terrible. And I tell her all the time it ain't. Typical woman. And if you listen to her long enough, she's fat. She can't do nothing with her hair. Her makeup ain't right. I don't know what shoes to wear. Don't sit over there and nod your head, no. Bandit, I'll attack. I'll spend your last one. Attack. Get get mama. I didn't say get me. I said get mama. What? Come on. Come on. You can do it. You're the jumping dog. Now, do I look anything like mama? You're supposed to get mama. You ain't worth a damn. What kind of mama's dog are you? Oh. He bailed out of that chair while I was <laughs> Boy, didn't he? He, he goes crazy when I get home and he got to get in his chair with me. Mama said she was going to bed. <laughs> you talk, I thought I was going to get road rash how fast he took off. I'm like, damn, I'm only your buddy if mama ain't in bed. Oh. oh me oh my well folks I'm going to chill out here with mama a little bit while she's up I might come on in a little while we'll see how it goes uh, appreciate y'all joining me for a little while y'all remember God loves you so do I y'all have a blessed evening now bye I'll let y'all know later what that turned out like.